goes into the T-slot. When you tighten it, it goes into position and locks in. Hi, I'm Patrick, this is Paul. Welcome back to the ProX How-To videos. Paul, can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Paul, I'm with the ProX Mechanical Group and I'm going to help introduce the extrusion line. So last time we talked about the connector kits. Paul, uh, involving the kits, can we go a little bit more into the hardware? Absolutely. So there are different styles of T-nuts that we use. This is a ball style of T-nut that uses a detent ball, a spring-loaded little ball to hold it in place as a captive T-nut and they come in the different sizes, M5, M4, M8. Uh, there's also a leaf spring style of T-nut that uses the spring-loaded spring leaves to hold it in, in the place of the T-slot. There's also a hammer nut, which is what we demonstrated in one of the previous videos. This hammer nut basically sits on the, on the end of the uh, bolt, goes into the T-slot. When you tighten it, it goes into position and locks in. And as you can see, maybe you can't see it, but they get pretty small. And here, we're going to talk about a T-matic connector. The T-matic is a very special connector that actually gets threaded into the T-slot and will be used in conjunction with one of those T-nuts to hold, usually, a piece of extrusion at a particular angle. We hope to see you guys in the next video.